What you about to see is an open G. D, G, D, G, B, D. I will now spend an hour explaining that to you. No, no, I won't hear what we gonna do. Fuck that, we gotta have that ding on the head, me. What you talking about? I got, I got this problem with the crockhead. I'm a crockhead. I can't help it. I just, I'm like, it's just like I can't help it. I'm a crockhead. But what we're going to do is we're going to play some blues in open G. I don't know if I've done this before, but I certainly have not done it with my crockhead uniform on. So we're going to put that crockhead gun. We're going to get down. Now, the way I do it is I make up a song as I go along. That song go along, it rhyme, you know? You rhyme, you get the time, and suddenly you got the crockhead blues. Take the slider off, man. We don't need the slider for this, okay? So da, 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 da. that's on the fifth fret. Go to the third and slide to the second, then open. Third string, third fret. Second string, open. Third string, open. High string, fifth fret. finger and you slide up and you play with your pinky and your ring finger and I, I don't know it's not sounding too good today I can do it better than that so you just Seven. That's just a crockhead blues. I just don't know any better. That's all I know how to do. I got the crockhead blues, and I got my Marty Schwartz hat and my pink bow. I got my Gil J185. I'm ready to go.
with the thumb on the fifth string. Then it's a pinch, then another pinch, and a slide from the third to the second. Then the open, third string, third fret, high string, uh, second string open, third string open. So that's also a pinch. Pinch. So we're droning on the fifth string, but that ends up being a pinch on, on all the little ditty witties. finger up to the fifth fret. So it's again a pinch. And hammer on with the index with the ring finger on the third fret. On the, on the I don't know, the seventh fret. Back. the seventh fret, fifth, I did it. Vice is when you don't play the note that you want to play, don't go, <laughs> just play the next note that you're going to play because when you go ah! you lose the whole thing and right. that's you don't want to do that so yes I mean if you listen to Mississippi John Hurt on some of his records he'll occasionally not play exactly the note that he wants to play but he never stops and that's that's really a serious and important thing to understand when you when you miss a note don't stop don't go ah! no don't do that just just keep on going but because that's what's happening Um, yes, sir. You just go like this. <laughs> That's the whole thing right there. That you don't got to do nothing else. You just go like that. And you keep the mouth open, right? Yeah. La la la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La la. That's the whole thing right there. You don't got to do nothing else. Now you can play guitar just like I did. You have to pinch it. But it sounds better when you do it. and you slide up. And I'm still pinching, but now I'm pinching one and four. Back. And up to the seventh fret. the fifth fret is you don't just go to it you actually slide up to it Jeremiah calls it a drum roll
on the third fret. Actually, we'll play the whole chord. Then you come down to the 5th fret and you do the same thing. And then 3rd string, 3rd fret. And then to the 7th. 5th. 3rd string. And it's meant to be done with a slide, so it's... And then also, oh. then there's also... And the fact is, bro, we're playing the same notes. See, this is... That's the same as... And... So it's, it's the third string, third note, third string, third fret is a big part of it. Yeah. And the high string, fifth note, fifth string. The, the fifth fret high string. And those are G notes. That's a G. idea here is that the notes in the G, you know, the open G can be played in many different patterns. The notes are basically the same, but the patterns can change, and the, the beat is, is, of course, vital. And here's another one. I'm, I'm sliding on the second string from the first to the third, then the high string, and then the pull off on the second string, then third and then fourth. And then again, 
the same. Practicing it, I would like you should practice each segment as opposed to trying to do the whole thing. So the first thing is if you're going to play, if you're going to drum roll, just get that down. You don't have to do the fancy part first. Just just practice that one at one part at a time. So you practice this, and you practice this, and then you practice this. Bomb. Could we do that section again? Which one? Um, so I have the bar. I'm just...